Hi, this is Julie Cohen, and I'm speaking with Bobby Block, Communication Skills Specialist for 3 Minutes Max. Bobby, I've recently noticed a habit that I have and that I've seen others exhibit when speaking, either in a meeting, in conversation, or doing a presentation. The habit is saying, you know, frequently in conversation. Not in the context of, you know what I mean, or you know that happened, but as in an incidental phrase. What makes someone do that? Well, that phrase is similar to the word like or um. It's a verbal filler. So what I have discovered makes people do that is the tendency to be thinking ahead and not being present, wanting to get to the next sentence. So they use a verbal filler as a bridge to get to that next sentence. So that's one reason that somebody is not fully present with what they're saying, but wanting to get to the next thing. The other reason that I've discovered is people are afraid of silence. They do not want to have any silence in what they're saying in a presentation or a conversation for different reasons. Either they fear being interrupted, uh, that somebody's going to throw them off, or they fear appearing as not competent or credible. And if they stop talking, somebody might judge them. So what's the impact on one's message when they say that, you know, you know? <laughs> Well, again, it depends on what verbal filler you're using and who the audience is. So the impact for the ums and the likes definitely is a little bit of I'm feeling that the speaker is not competent or credible in what they're trying to deliver. And it's going to distance me because I feel like they don't know exactly what they're talking about. The you know is a little bit different because you know is looking for affirmation. So I'm trying to affirm that you know what I'm talking about. And it's, again, doing sort of the opposite of what you want it to do because they're focusing on the you know. They're getting distracted by it. And really what they're thinking is, no, I don't know. I don't know. Slow down so that I can know what you know. So tell me, how can we eliminate that you know when it seems almost automatic? Yeah. It's tricky. Uh, first, it's great that you're aware of it. <laughs> That's the first step. Uh, and then the best advice I have is breathing and slowing down. There you go. <laughs> so uh, there's two places where you can breathe before you start speaking and while you're speaking. So before you speak, you want to take deep breaths from your belly so that you can inhibit adrenaline. Adrenaline puts you into fight or flight mode. And that's what, want, what gets you to speed up and want to get to the next sentence. So breathe and relax before you speak. While you speak, you want to at every period, at the end of every sentence, take a breath. Stop. It's just like you're typing and you hit the period. You want to speak like you type. You hit the period. You hit the space bar. Take a breath. Then say your next sentence. Great, Bobby. Uh, Listen, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Bobby Block, for sharing your expertise and insight. I'll be breathing more. And your advice for three minutes max was fantastic. Take care.